Anguicho. The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. During today's sessions, the chamber continues hearing the testimony of witness Pam Van, Pam Van alias Kampan. Alias Kampan. Questions are going to be put by counsels par for la the, défense. the accused persons, and then we proceed to listen or to hear the testimony Ensuite, of TCW. Six, nine, five. Mr. Parry, you are now instructed to report to the Chamber on the status of the parties to the proceedings. The Parry. Mr. President, your honours, today is the 14th of December 2012. All parties to the proceedings are present, except Mr. Ian Sari, who is present but in his holding cell due to his health concerns. En raison de son état de santé. Mr. Ang Udom has informed Maître the chamber that he would be absent today due to his personal commitment. Today, the chamber Pour continues hearing the testimony of witness Kam Pan, who is present. Est présent before us dans now. Le the chamber also has a reserve witness, TCW 6995. The witness has already <laughs> taken an oath le témoin a déjà prêté serment uh, in the complex of the court. Dans the witness also confirms that Le témoin a the witness has no relation or biological aucun relation with any of the civil parties or the parties to the proceeding. Thank you, Mr. President. Des parties. The Merci. President. Thank you, Mr. Dutpari. Next, uh, we would Monsieur like uh, to Paris. hand over La to counsel for Mr. Kilson Pond to continue putting questions to this witness. Interroger le témoin. Thank you, Mr. President and Your Honours. I would like to Merci, continue putting Monsieur a few Président, more questions to you. Juge, Yesterday we broke Monsieur off when I put a question to you on Hier, K17 K and your study at B20. I would like uh, to also ask you a few France. more specific questions concerning questions this. First of all, may I know how old you Première were actually? Quel âge aviez-vous à l'époque? Because it appears uh, to us that uh, you uh, you have the same birth date uh, on the three records of the interviews before the co-investigating judges. Is it the genuine date uh, birth uh, birth update? Votre date de naissance a été mentionnée dans les trois PV d'audition. S'agit-il de la Response. date? Response: I don't remember exact. the exact date I was born. Réponse. Je ne me souviens pas de ma date de naissance exacte. But I already stated in the document. Mais la date figure déjà dans le document. Question. Question. Do you believe that you are older than the actual age uh, you provided in the documents? Pensez-vous être plus âgé ou plus jeune Response. que votre date de naissance telle qu'elle figure dans le document older or younger ne donne à penser uh, date, just one Réponse. C'est la bonne date à un ou deux ans près. Thank you. Question. Question. You said you attended study session at Vous dites B20. avoir reçu une formation à B20. 
you learn to type Vous avez appris using the typewriter la and also you learn some command letters. Can you tell the chamber in more detail what you Khmer, learned actually? -vous préciser? -vous Response. I actually did not study typing, but I learned to decode telegrams. I think uh, I didn't study to become a typist anyway. Je n'ai pas étudié pour devenir Council, dactylo. thank you. Question. I heard uh, a lot uh, about Thai writer and that you study how to type. So to correct this record, is it fair to say that you did not study pour corriger cela, how to type but to decode telegrams? Machine, Please uh, des say that again. Response. Yes, uh, I learned to Réponse. decode telegrams. J'ai appris à décoder des télégrammes. Question. Question. What did you learn regarding the telegrams? Qu'avez-vous appris exactement dans le domaine des télégrammes? Response. At that time, we learned how Réponse. to understand the ten digits appris le système à kind of chiffres. Question. Question. Can you explain to the chamber, please, what you mean by the ten digit chart? Quand vous parlez de système ou de tableau à dix chiffres. Response. Réponse. Um, in the study session, we would be instructed on how to understand the square boxes, for example, the square columns with 10 columns, and then uh, there colonnes. would be number from uh, 0 to 9, Elles étaient which is, de 0 à 9. Uh, and then we were instructed to convert or to decode Ensuite, uh, this number, to understand the number and translate it. Uh, them in two words. Décoder le message et le traduire en mots. Question. Apart from these techniques, did you study other lessons? Response. No, I didn't. Réponse. À part cela, avez-vous appris autre chose? Réponse. Non. Thank you. Question. Question. During the time you studied uh, telegrams, how long was the training? Les telegrams. Combien de temps a duré la formation? Response. The training was about one month. Réponse. Environ un mois. Thank you. Question. Question. After one month training, were you capable enough to decode the telegrams? -vous suffisamment compétent and pour décoder how les did your instructor say about your performance? Et quelle était l'évaluation de votre instructeur concernant response? At that time, there was no such assessment. Uh, after pas eu the session, I had to work with my Après father session, and be with him at, at my home village. Je suis resté auprès de lui dans mon village natal. Question. What was the Question. instruction you were offered during the first time you allowed to decode some telegrams? La première fois que vous avez décodé des télégrammes, quelles instructions avez-vous reçues? Response. I don't Réponse. recollect this. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Question. Question. I would like uh, to ask you a few questions concerning K-17. You said uh, you spent some time there from 1974 all the way to 1977. You stay at K-17 of Sector 105. What did you do there? Qui faisiez-vous?
response. response. I was with my father helping him père. decode Je telegrams. À décoder des telegrams. Thank you. Question. Between 1974 and 1977, you worked Entre with your father on a regular basis, helping him decode telegrams. Is that correct? Regulièrement Response. Votre yes, it père is. A décodé des telegrams. Est exact? Réponse, oui. Thank you. Question. Do you know Question. whether there are other offices under K-17 of sector 105? Response. I don't remember this Réponse. very well. It was Je ne sais plus. Some, something that happened a long time ago. Il y a bien longtemps. Question. As a Question. telegram decoder, did you work de under the supervision of que vous other person? sous la supervision Or were you in charge of the section and you had eh bien, some subordinates? Est-ce que c'était vous qui étiez responsable de la section I worked avec under the chairman of the office. Réponse. Je travaillais sous l'autorité du président du bureau. What kind of office was Question. that? Quel genre de bureau était-ce? Council, please repeat the uh, response. Uh, it's uh, office K-17. Le bureau K-17. Question. Allow Question. me to seek some clarification on this. Pouvez Your father préciser. was the secretary of the Votre sector and there was another secteur. chief uh, for the office Et le who was your father's subordinate chef. Lequel était le subordonné de votre Response. père et yes, en même temps is. votre propre supérieur Est-ce exact Réponse oui. Thank you. Question. Question. How many people were in your group or were you Combien there de personnes votre or groupe by yourself? Response. Ou bien est-ce que Are you vous y étiez seul Asking me Réponse. about the people in my telegram decoding section. De la section du Council, des thank telegrams. you. Uh, indeed, uh, it was uh, that matter. How many people were there in your Combien group de of y -il the dans telegram ce decoding du section? Des Response. At the Réponse. beginning, I was alone Au début, seul. working as the decoder. Le seul decoder. Question. Question. Until... Which year you continued working alone before you were joined by other people? Dit, à quel moment d'autres sont-ils venus vous Later on, when I was joined réponse. by my sister, la suite, she ma also was joined by a few other people. Et il y a eu aussi d'autres gens, quelques-uns qui Thank sont you. venus nous rejoindre. Question. Question. Did K-17 have other sub est-ce que K-17 était composé de sections where people would be tasked uh, exemple, with receiving the same telegrams as you did? De réceptionner les telegrams. Response: No, there was none. Réponse: Subsection. Non, il n'y avait pas de sous-section. Question: Question. So, is it Our understanding that uh, there is no section Donc, for il avait pas receiving radio communication de les other radio. than your section. So who Hormis received all section. the telegrams? Dès lors, qui Did you do that or your vous? superior? Votre supérieur? Response. Réponse. I am not quite sure I understand your question. Are you talking about uh, telegrams decoders or the tele uh, uh, communi uh, radio communication 
personnel. Du personnel chargé des communications Response. radio. Uh, rather mm. question. Du I décodage am de asking you about the radio communication section. Je vous interroge section sur section la section des communications par radio. You said you worked alone as effet, the decoder until the time when you were joined by your sister and other people. My question is about the radio communication. Indeed, who actually received all the telegrams? You worked as the coder, but who received all these telegrams, incoming telegrams? Response. We had different people and staff member who worked at uh, the radio communication section. Du personnel différent à la section des communications radio. Council, thank you. La défense. Merci. Question. I would like uh, to seek some clarification from you concerning document E3 stroke 58, the record of du e interview 58. you gave before the co-investigating Under ERN in Khmer, 00-23-99-36. I would like to now proceed to give the chamber the ERN numbers in English. Council, I would like to read the Khmer version of you first, and I would then proceed to give the ERN numbers in French and English. I am now looking for the relevant pages. Je suis en train de chercher la bonne page. So please uh, read the, uh, oh, listen to me. In this document, it is on uh, page uh, number three, and I believe that it would be 3. on the same page Khmer. of the English and French version, but I will be looking for the right page anglais, for you. Mais je vais chercher on this page, la you page indicated that dans ces langues. Voici ce que vous dites. In 1975 to late 1977, I went to Phnom Krau at K-17 office where the provincial committee members worked. I would like to seek some clarification concerning the terms you use, provincial committee. Were these the right terms used at that time? Did they use the provincial committee de members or sector de members? Ou bien or the parlait sector committee members? Des membres du comité de secteur. Response. At that time, some Réponse. people would refer to uh, this Certains as the... A sector committee or secretary of sector, sector 105. The there was no such official language used. It was about the routine where people would uh, be 
uh, using council. Thank you. I would like to read it uh, and in English for you. Je donne les ERN en anglais à présent. Zero zero two five zero 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 eight eight zero zero quatre vingt French zero zero two eight zero zero vingt huit three nine trente neuf one four quatorze. So you say that uh, it is not quite sure for you. Provincial <laughs> committee member could have been the Donc, committee members of the sector. Les Is membres that du comité de province étaient peut-être les membres du comité de secteur. Est-ce là ce que vous Please dites? Please answer again. Response. Sometimes they used uh, both terms interchangeably. Les deux appellations étaient utilisées de manière interchangeable. Thank you. Under the same ERN number, La Défense. both Khmer English and French uh, shares the same ERN number. Dans I move to the next or uh, the following question. You un autre passage. say it. With regard to the instructions from the center to K17 for any arrest, such order or instruction was not uh, ever seen. Do you still stand by your de tel statement? Est-ce que vous confirmez ces propos? Response. I do, yes, oui. uh, because at that time there was no such order for arrest. People could be convened to work and they disappeared. Les gens convoqués pour aller travailler, puis ils disparaissaient. Qua uh, Mais thank you. Question. Question. Can you also confirm, as to the best of your knowledge, that À votre connaissance. Uh, there was no such order for arrest. Il a donc pas How eu could you be so sure? De à des arrestations. As a telegram recorder, vous étiez uh, décodeur de télégrammes. You received some telegrams. Vous réceptionniez des télégrammes. What made you conclude that there was no such instruction Qu'est-ce qui vous a poussé à conclure qu'aucun ordre de ce type n'avait été donné? Response. Réponse. At that time, some telegrams à cette époque, were of strictly secret or confidential, strictement confidential, and I perhaps uh, did not know all about this. Some other people could have been called to attend study sessions at the upper courant. level, Peut-être que which is beyond my knowledge. Pour à des sessions d'études à l'échelon supérieur, mais je n'en savais rien. Question. question as a telegram decoder are you now saying en you que had no knowledge of en train ever de having dire received any instructions or orders in the telegrams for any arrest so donné could you just confirm that it is the case you haven't received any kind of instructions from the telegrams on the arrest. reçu aucune instruction, aucun ordre de procéder Response. à des arrestations via des télégrammes. I can confirm because Réponse. if there was there was such order, then si I would be able to read from the telegrams. Existé, but there was none. Pu les Counsel lire for Mr. Dans les Kielsen Pond, thank you, thank you, Mr. President. I have no more questions, Merci. but I would like to see the floor to my colleague to proceed with further questions. Pour la suite de the President, Counsel, Bonjour, you Monsieur, may proceed. Good morning, sir. Poser. I do have a few questions to Donc, ask you. Donc, je suis Arthur Verken, l'avocat international de Monsieur Kielsen Pond. Arthur Verken, I represent Mr. Kielsen Pond. Et pour commencer, je voudrais vous relire une déposition que vous avez donnée aux enquêteurs du tribunal qui vous a d'ailleurs déjà été relu partiellement par le procureur le premier jour de votre comparution à cette barre. 
C'est la première déposition que vous avez faite avec les enquêteurs du tribunal le 21 novembre 2008. Elle est cotée E3 bar 58 et le passage que je vais lire porte les références suivantes. ERN français 002 83 9 et ERN Khmer 002-003-934, anglais 002-5-0088. Je répète, car j'ai parlé trop vite, ERN Khmer 0 so that it's perfectly clear, once again, the ERN's in Khmer 00283-9934, ERN anglais 0 in English 0 0 0 Et à ce moment-là, donc, de votre entretien, les... Les enquêteurs vous ont posé la question suivante. Je cite « À qui et à quel bureau votre travail de dactylographie secrète envoyé au comité central s'est-il adressé ?» Voilà ce que vous répondez. « La plupart du temps, j'envoyais les dactylographies confidentielles au bureau 870. » Si c'était les questions de matériel, de santé, d'action sociale et celles en dehors de la question de sécurité, il fallait taper des écritures normales, non confidentielles, et les envoyer à Kyosampan, alias M. Et quand il donnait des directions et me les renvoyait, il y apposait sa signature et marquait son nom M. Par exemple, quand il organisait le travail pour les régions, la région K-17 devait ordonner au secteur de commerce ou d'économie d'aller prendre au comité central le matériel tel que du carburant, des machines, des pièces détachées, des médicaments, du tissu. Quant au comité central, il lui arrivait également de demander aux régions de lui envoyer du riz. Puis ensuite, vous parlez du travail de sécurité et vous dites, donc fin de la citation, pardon, et ensuite donc vous parlez du travail de sécurité et là vous dites que vous écriviez à quelqu'un d'autre. Alors ma première question euh, est la suivante. Pendant toute la période durant laquelle vous avez travaillé au service des télégrammes, est-ce que euh, vous pouvez confirmer la répartition du travail que euh, vous avez donné dans cette réponse aux enquêteurs du tribunal breakdown of work that was achieved within the section as you had declared before the co-investigators. I do not understand the question. I don't know whether or not you are asking me about uh, the distribution of materials or what kinds of uh, je viens de vous lire une déposition et je vous demande si vous êtes encore d'accord aujourd'hui avec cette déposition que je viens de vous lire. Your question, Je really, because uh, votre uh, according to what you read uh, just now and the statement I made, uh, I, I stand by it. Et puis je dit. 
Donc vous avez compris, puisque c'est ce que je vous demandais de faire. Confirmer ou Thank you. Well, that confirmer. Shows me that you have une question très simple. I was asking you for a yes or no answer. It was a very simple question. Actually. Et maintenant, je vais vous demander euh, peut-être de préciser davantage. Like Est-ce que to give me a little more detail. pendant la période où vous avez travaillé During the time au service des télégrammes, when you were working for the telegram vous service, avez le souvenir de voir do you remember des ordres émanant de M orders concernant from M spécifiquement le riz. Specifically relating to rice. Young men jump there, but jump. No, I don't. What no. I can recall is that uh, people did send um, oui. rice Je me uh, to our uh, que du riz avait été envoyé sec sector, à notre secteur. and uh, the person who sent uh, this Et was Haim. C'est Haim qui l'avait envoyé. D'accord. Est-ce que right. M se préoccupait, c'est-à-dire que j'en pense, que les choses soient claires, euh, se préoccupait, euh, échangeait des télégrammes euh, concernant la sécurité, les questions de sécurité, l'arrestation de, de, de tout type de sécurité dans security, votre secteur in your sector or region. No, uh, he had nothing to do with security. I did non, not see his il name il rien à uh, avec la involving in security Je matters. Jamais vu son nom associé à des questions de sécurité. Lorsque vous avez expliqué dans le passage que j'ai cité que les échanges de courrier You said that en exchanges of mail, of telegrams, avec M étaient non confidentiels. Comment faut-il comprendre avec plus de précision ce que vous voulez dire Ça voulait dire quoi non confidentiel Of exactly what that means when you say non confidential. Because at that time, they did not uh, encode the uh, secret numbers. Um, so uh, this literally means that uh, the communication was not confidential. Cela signifiait que la lettre n'était pas confidentielle lorsqu'elle n'était pas chiffrée. Uh, by literal numbers, I mean that the numbers that uh, we actually studied at school, everyone would understand easily. And Letters as well uh, used in that uh, telegram communication uh, were the uh, literal um, characters which uh, ordinary people would understand it. Uh, Par contre, les lettres non confidentielles étaient écrites en alphabet que des gens normaux pouvaient lire. Et vous avez vu euh, passer de telles lettres euh, à l'époque où vous avez travaillé au service des télégrammes. And when you were working exact. in the telegram service, you saw such des lettres non confidentielles de M. Non-coded letters going through the service from him. Yes, I uh, did see them. Effectivement. And I did uh, make this uh, statement already with the investigator of the aux enquêteurs of the du bureau des juges d'instruction. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Je voudrais vous demander une précision sur un point Can qui va peut-être vous sembler un petit peu bizarre. C'est sur you. une expression. Euh, J'ai remarqué que dans certains télégrammes qui vous ont été présentés, euh, le télégramme commence par... Euh, Telegram, I mean, starts. Bureau 870, bien Office aimé. 870. Et en français, cette And expression, euh, Bureau 870, bien aimé, sonne un peu bizarrement, parce que, Or rather the other way around. Beloved Office a priori, quand on s'adresse comme French, cela, c'est à une personne, strange. et pas à un bureau. Est-ce que euh, vous êtes en mesure de nous éclairer sur... Euh, 
la nature et la raison de cette expression euh, bureau 870 bien aimé was given the name beloved I do not understand uh, the uh, term used, uh, the specific uh, meaning it conveyed, uh, but it was uh, common uh, that uh, in the salutation uh, they would uh, close the letter with uh, this, and I was not actually well educated. I uh, do not really understand how it was arranged. Tout à l'heure, Alors, non, plutôt, je ne vais, je vais pas faire référence à tout à l'heure, mais je voudrais faire référence à la déposition à cette barre d'autres personnes que vous, euh, à qui j'avais demandé, posé la même question sur la signification de cette expression. Et je fais référence spécifiquement euh, à la cote E1 par 851, 85.1 plutôt, ERN français 3 Khmer, Khmer 00 000 8 8 1 1 6 6 7 7 2 2 2 2 et anglais and English 00 000 1 8 1 7 5 7 5 3 6 3 6 Il s'agit de la déposition à cette barre d'un d'un témoin expert en matière de, de télégramme aussi, et à qui j'avais demandé euh, ce que signifiait l'expression « à l'attention du bureau 870, très respecté et bien aimé ». Et à chaque exemple que je proposais à ce témoin, celui-ci avait répondu « que, en réalité, euh, ces télégrammes s'adressaient à Pol Pot. Vous seriez d'accord avec ce témoin ou est-ce que vous ignorez toujours la signification exacte de cette appellation I am not knowledgeable of, of this. Je ne sais rien de cela. I did not know whether or not um, M870 uh, was, the, was another name for Pol Pot or it was uh, referred to as a committee because si at that time uh, leaders uh, were uh, actually um, from this office. That's what we knew when we were at the sector at the time. Était à ce bureau et c'est ce que nous savions dans le secteur. En tout cas, vous, lorsque vous avez adressé you, encrypté des télégrammes adressés à M. Kyosampan, vous les adressiez à M, c'est bien cela right? yes, Oui, vous avez raison. Et j'ai une dernière question sur euh, de clarification. J'ai l'impression que, <coughs> one, one par exemple, dans une réponse que vous venez de donner à mon confrère uh, Samon Kang, an euh, vous avez dit et reconnu euh, assez facilement 
que vous aviez euh, travaillé pour votre père au service des télégrammes jusqu'en 1977, euh, c'est-à-dire l'année finalement de la, de la mort de votre père. In other words, the year vous avez dit il y a quelques death. secondes, vous êtes, euh, ça n'a pas toujours été très clair dans vos dépositions sur euh, la période jusqu'à laquelle vous aviez travaillé au décryptage des, te des télégrammes. Uh, Donc je voudrais vous donner l'occasion de, so like de dire si vous êtes bien d'accord avec cette, uh, cette date que vous avez donnée il y a encore quelques minutes, <coughs> et, uh, à savoir que jusqu'en 77, c'est un travail que vous avez effectivement réalisé. A job you were doing up to 1977. I uh, stayed with him up until 1977. I was a driver at that time, but I uh, worked as a uh, telegram decoder uh, just up until one year after the war. It was not sometimes in 1977, but it was sometime in 1975 or early 1976. Then I, I left uh, this job. Uh, I was a driver. I do not recall the exact uh, year, but if you want to uh, find out precisely when, I, uh, had to, I have to uh, spend some time to recall or conduct further research in order to find out the exact date. And once again, uh, I did not uh, do the job as a telegram decoder up until 1977, uh, but I did stay with my father until 1977, uh, but I do not recall the exact date. Uh, it has been uh, quite a long time. But I think uh, that phone calls uh, might still recall them very well because they might have uh, kept a good record of it. Et vous avez indiqué à votre, enfin, cette chambre que c'était votre sœur qui avait pris votre succession. C'est exact? That your sister took over from you. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Effectivement. Et euh, au moment où elle vous a remplacé, vous étiez And encore euh, affecté you, au décryptage. Were you exact? still working on decoding? No, I no longer worked. Non, je ne travaillais plus. As in, uh, in decoding. Uh, my sister took my place. Oui, mais au moment où elle est arrivée, yes, c'est à ce moment-là uh, que vous êtes parti. Les deux, votre départ et son arrivée ont-elles coïncidé Did she arrive at precisely the moment you left? That is correct. Oui, c'est ça. Alors. Peut-être pour vous aider à, à fixer davantage sur la question des dates, Perhaps, euh, so il y a un télégramme qui vous a été montré so il y a deux jours telegram, par euh, le procureur. C'était le troisième télégramme qui vous a montré, et qui porte la cote E3 bar 1195, ERN français 0. 0, 5, 3, 1, 0, 8, 8, ERN Khmer, 0, 0, 0, 5, 7, 2, 9, 6, et ERN anglais, 0, 0, 5, 1, 9, 5, 1, 9. C'est un télégramme daté du 25 novembre 1976. Le procureur vous a posé des questions sur ce télégramme qui est adressé au camarade Pang par votre père. Et l'on voit, vous l'avez d'ailleurs expliqué, qu'il est question de votre sœur. 
Bopan. C'est bien celle qui vous a remplacé, n'est-ce pas, je crois, au I, I, I service de Telegram, monsieur That is correct. C'est exact. Et dans ce télégramme euh, du 25 novembre 1976, votre And père 1976, dit à Pang qu'il a demandé à votre sœur d'aller se former en document confidentiel. Uh, Il demande de l'aide. Donc... Euh, si l'on en croit ce télégramme, il so semblerait que le 25 novembre 1976, c'est-à-dire à la fin de l'année 1976, votre sœur n'a pas encore été formée au décryptage des documents confidentiels. Est-ce que cela éclaire éventuellement votre lanterne Le président. President, witness, uh, please hold on. Mr. Prosecutor, you may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président, et Thank bonjour you, à vous et à tous les juges. Uh, J'ai une objection sur la façon dont la question a été posée, parce que il est effectivement dit dans ce document que uh, j'ai donc désigné Bopan pour assister à un cours sur des, une formation sur les, les documents confidentiels. Ça ne veut pas nécessairement dire qu'elle n'avait eu aucune formation auparavant. Ça peut être une formation continue, ça peut être une spécialisation, ça peut être d'autres motifs. Donc je pense que la question devrait être reformulée dans ce sens-là. Moi, j'ai une objection sur l'objection, puisque par l'intermédiaire de son objection, Monsieur le procureur suggère des réponses aux témoins. D'autant plus que j'avais l'intention de, de poursuivre en fonction de la réponse du, du témoin avec ce qu'on m'a dit la sœur elle-même lorsqu'elle a été entendue. Donc je crois que, à mon avis, monsieur le témoin peut répondre à la question très ouverte que je lui ai posée sur ce qu'il convient de tirer comme conséquence de ce télégramme. Uh, speculate. So you sh your question should be more specific uh, in relation to what he has known or has come across. You should not, your question should not be suggestive. Uh, it should be in, uh, put in a manner that uh, he uh, can reflect upon his own experience. Oui, oui, c'est bien mon intention, Monsieur le Président. Donc, euh, monsieur le témoin, vous avez été amené à commenter lors de euh, cette procédure un télégramme dans lequel votre père évoque euh, l'envoi de votre sœur qui euh, est celle qui vous a succédé euh, à une formation. Euh, comment expliquez-vous euh, ce, ce télégramme qui porte la date du euh, 26 novembre 1976 et dans laquelle est évoquée euh, la formation de votre sœur Quelle est l'explication Qu'est-ce que ça vous suggère euh, la lecture que je viens de donner de ce télégramme qui vous avait déjà été lu That I uh, do not know. I did not know whether or not uh, she uh, came to undertake further training or not. But actually, uh, she uh, had 
master the skill uh, before uh, she came uh, to take my place. Elle avait déjà acquis uh, ses compétences avant de venir me remplacer. To Elle avait été telegrams. formée sur le décodage. Je pas d'autres questions, Monsieur le Président. Mr. President, I have no further questions. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Now I hand over to the defense team for Mr. Ying Seri to put the questions to the witness. You may proceed, Council. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honors, and good morning to everyone in and around the courtroom. And good morning, sir. I'm Michael Carnavas, and I represent, along with Mr. Angudom, Mr. Ying Seri. Let me begin by focusing again on your age. I've looked at your statements, and you told the investigators that you were born in 1960. Today, you told us plus or minus one year. When you gave that answer to the investigators that you were born in 1960, did you qualify it? In other words, that you didn't actually know the year and actual date of your birth, but you could have been born as early as 1959 or as late as 1961. <coughs> When the investigator asked me, uh, we actually uh, discussed this uh, as well. Uh, I could not qualify it uh, as to when I exactly was born. I asked uh, my uh, siblings, uh, they could not uh, tell me, and I asked uh, people whom I uh, knew, uh, they uh, did not know exactly, but I could only say that I was born around 1960. All right. Thank you. Now, when you asked your siblings, was that uh, during the interview, uh, before or after the interview? No, I had asked them long before the interview was conducted when I was uh, registering for uh, identification card. Okay, thank you. So then I go back to my original question. Since they could not tell you, did you inform the investigators at the time when they asked you for your date of birth, did you tell them, I do not know? It might be 1960, it might be 59, it might be 61. Did you actually say that? Or did you just, did you just give them December 1960? I told them that uh, I was not clear. The investigator at the time told me that uh, they, uh, I had to, uh, I uh, could tell from the identification card, so the date was taken from the identification card. Fait, uh, thank you for that identity. clarification. Now, Mr. I want to focus uh, initially the time when you were a driver, realizing that you don't know the exact year of your birth. Comme Do you know how old you were when you became de a de driver? souvenez-vous plus ou moins de l'âge que vous aviez quand vous avez commencé à I do not know exactly uh, when, how old I was at that time, but uh, I um, think it could have been around 18 or 17 years of age. Well, could it have been 16 or 15, since you don't know when you were actually born? No, it couldn't have been uh, 15 non, years old. 
because at that time I uh, if I recall it correctly I could drive a big trucks as well so I, it, it could not have been uh, 15 years okay. uh, is that because there was a prohibition during that period that 15 year olds could not drive big trucks or is it because you were too short to reach the pedals of the truck and that, that would have disqualified you from being a driver for les gens âgés de moins de 15 ans de conduire des camions ou était-ce parce que vous étiez trop petit pour conduire un camion et atteindre les pédales Je me tiens hem chuan ông già đò đó là Yeah, my, my leg I could not press uh, the uh, pedal. I, I, I could not do it. And the strength as well, I did not have enough strength if I were 15 years. All right. And what about 16? At 16, were you tall enough to reach the pedals and strong enough to manage the wheel? Pour atteindre les pédales et conduire au volant? Well, if I was strong enough at that age, uh, I could uh, drive it. It would be, it would have been even better. Well, that doesn't answer my question. The thrust of my question actually is: Is it? Do you know for certain whether you were 17 or 18, or could you be as young as 16 at the time when you were driving, when you were a driver here in Phnom Penh? Mm, no, it, it, it could not have been the case. All right. Let me move on. Now, as a driver, was part of your function to attend meetings? In other words, not to merely drive individuals from point A to point B, but to also attend the meetings. No, I didn't. Did you at least go inside the meeting room so you could see who is conducting the meeting, who are participating in the meetings? Salle pour voir qui organisait la réunion ou qui y participait. Nong diem la bag lan ba de chu. As the drivers, I simply. Um, took the people to the meeting hall and I uh, dropped them there. It was none of my business to enter into the business room. I only uh, knew that uh, the meeting was between these uh, uh, individuals and that individuals, but I did not enter the meeting room. All right. Now, how far, how close to the meeting room would you drive up to? Avec la voiture, vous approchez-vous de lieu de réunion Jusqu'où alliez-vous Response. As close as to the gate. Jusqu'au portail. Je me rendais jusqu'au portail. Are we speaking about the gate leading into the compound where the buildings, where the buildings, where the meetings would have taken place Or Are we talking about the gate of the building itself, which of the two? De la porte d'entrée du bâtiment. Lequel? Indeed, it's the outside gate of the compound. Il s'agissait du portail extérieur de l'enceinte. And from the outside gate Question. of the compound, Depuis could you please tell us how far the buildings or building would have been where these meetings would have taken place? Pour arriver au bâtiment où les réunions se déroulaient. Response. I went to Réponse. several places. I don't Je know uh, which place you refer to because every time I would stop at the gate. À fois, je au at portail. some places, I would, uh, the gate would be further endroits, from the building. At some places, the building was closer éloigné. to the gate. Du bâtiment. Parfois, le portail and est plus près. when you would be waiting 
I assume that you were waiting Je suppose que vous attendiez uh, while the meeting was going on. Pendant que la réunion were you inside the compound or outside the gate? Which of the à l'intérieur de l'enceinte ou à l'extérieur de l'enceinte, de l'autre côté du portail? Response. Réponse. As a driver, I had to make sure that I am chauffeur, at, with the car. Je devais rester the auprès car, de la voiture so it is of et même the dans la voiture, donc à l'extérieur de l'enceinte. Question. Ces enceintes, compounds or fenced or ces just open? enceintes, ces complexes, étaient-ils entourés de murs ou bien s'agissait-il de clôtures Response. ouvertes Réponse. In some places, it was in the open, but in some places there were Parfois, some walls or fence. Parfois, c'était un ouvert. À d'autres endroits, il y avait. And while you were waiting, question. Outside, vous attendiez in your car, à l'extérieur. Were you carrying on voiture, having conversations with the guards se faisant, to find que out vous discutiez what avec the meetings were about? Les gardiens pour savoir who was meeting. Sur quoi what the topics may have been. portaient les réunions, qui y participaient et de quoi les participants parlaient. Réponse. Non, je n'étais pas. Maintenant, sur le chemin to the meetings, did you, en route being vers the driver, les that is, réunions, have conversations chauffeur, with the passengers, que vous whoever they may have been, avec as far as what they were up to? Pour savoir they were going, ce qu'ils faisaient, who they où ils allaient, meeting, qui ils allaient rencontrer, de quoi ils allaient parler. Response. No, I didn't. Réponse. Non. And when the meeting ended and you had to drive à those individuals réunions, back to wherever you were taking them, ces gens -là did you engage or did they engage with you in conversation to give you an update as to what may have happened during the meeting, who attended, what was spoken, what was resolved? Avait été présent aux réunions, de quoi l'on avait parlé, quelles solutions avaient été trouvées? Response. No, I didn't. No. Let me Question. now switch to before you became a driver. Venons-en à la période you told antérieure us au moment of où your functions. I don't want to go into Vous that. Vous avez parlé de vos fonctions. Je ne veux pas m'attarder là-dessus. I just wish to touch upon a couple of issues. Je veux simplement aborder concerning quelques points. Your father's qui sont en rapport position. avec le poste you told us de votre père. He was a secretary of the dit, sector. Il était secrétaire du That's secteur. That's correct. Est-ce exact? Response. Yes, it is. Effectivement. And that's a Question. pretty important position, is it not? C'est un poste assez élevé, n'est-ce pas? Response. I can't say whether it was important or not, but I knew that he was the secretary of the sector. Je il était de sector. Uh, all right, well, help me out here now, because you told us about decoding secret messages, you told us about purges, you told us all sorts of details, and I'm at a loss now, because now you're telling us, having lived through that period, being intimate with your father, being intimate with his work, de votre you don't know père, vous connaissiez bien son how travail, important mais vous nous dites que his position pas si would have been. Poste était Is that important. your testimony today? Response. I'm, I'm afraid uh, I do not understand je désolé, your question je because you seem question. to stress the term important vous in their le context. Terme important. All right, let me clarify it. Je ne sais pas ce que vous par là. In the sector Question. itself, was there someone Au sein du above secteur, your father's level qui était plus haut placé within the sector? Père, dans le secteur. Response. No. Réponse. No. All right. Now, from Question. that simple answer, 
can we conclude that at least within the sector, your father is the most important person? Or should we have doubts? Ou bien devons-nous avoir des doutes à ce sujet? Response. Réponse. Uh, as long as that regime concerned, yes, we can. Pour ce qui est de ce régime, effectivement. All right. La défense. Now, très bien. If I understand you correctly, si j'ai bien compris, ce you're que vous doubting dites, the fact that your father vous avez des was the most important point de savoir or most powerful si person votre père in the sector la when la he was secretary of the sector with no one above him within the sector. Response. Personally, if we look into today's situation and I said uh, compared to the, uh, the previous regime during the time when my father was uh, holding that position, I do not see that such position was that important because he was assigned the duties. Car il s'agissait d'une fonction uh, qui lui well, avait été confiée. Well, thank you for but we're talking about Merci pour cette comparaison. The events back Mais nous then, parlons des événements not de what you may think of nous ne parlons what pas a secretary of a sector does today. Pouvez penser de ce que fait un secteur so ou un can secrétaire aujourd'hui. Do you have any doubts as to whether your father avez-vous des doutes quant au point de savoir was si not votre père the most pas powerful person in the sector when he was secretary. Du secteur it's a simple yes or secrétaire. no. Or maybe je I just don't know. De répondre par oui ou non ou de dire tout simplement je n'en sais rien. Response. I still believe Réponse. that he was not a person of important position or with great power. Alright, thank you. Now, Question. we know that you were working Nous for your father que vous travaillez pour and votre père. coding and decoding vous confidential or secret messages. Des messages Did your father by any chance describe his functions to que you votre père exactly what he did, précisément ses fonctions. what his role was, a what his responsibilities were at the time de ses as secretary of the sector. Que du sector. Response. Réponse. No, he didn't. Non. Did your father Question. at any time à un moment Hold ou à un autre, est-ce que votre père with individuals a tenu des réunions secrètes avec d'autres gens alors qu'il était secrétaire du secteur Response. No, he didn't. Réponse. Non. Well, did he hold meetings? Question. <coughs> Tenait-il des réunions Response. Yes, he did. Oui. And during those Question. meetings, were you present? Durant ces réunions, étiez-vous présent? Response: No, I wasn't. Réponse: No. Is that because Question. the meetings were supposed to be confidential, parce que les or is it because être you were not in a position parce que to be in attendance of those meetings? Vous n'étiez pas en mesure d'être présent à ces réunions. Response. Réponse. The latter is correct. C'est la deuxième option qui est exacte. All right. Well, if you did not attend the meetings because you were Question. not qualified or competent si in your position, that pas is, aux to attend the meetings, did your father at least tell you in advance what those meetings were about? Avance, votre père vous and then disait after perhaps tell you what occurred during the meetings. À ces réunions, est-ce qu'il vous en parlait éventuellement après les réunions? Response. Réponse. He didn't tell me non. anything because I was not in a position to be informed of the update. He could have talked to his colleagues, so he's uh, 
people about this. Or did you ask him any questions to give you an update on who he was meeting with, what decisions or what topics were being discussed, what decisions were being reached, what orders were being given? Response, no, I didn't. Uh, I, I wouldn't dare. Je pas and again, uh, he was not uh, bound to tell me anything about Et the update. Il pas à me dire quoi que ce soit. And is that because Question. during that period, parce que secrecy période, was le secret a very important factor était quelque chose for anyone? Important especially for someone pour tous, who would have a position such as secretary un poste of a sector. Comme celui de secretaire de secteur. Response. Yes, it Réponse. is correct. Effectivement. At that time, à people were asked to mind his or her business only. De de And I take it Question. that you minded your Je business que vous as well. Vous occupiez de vos affaires également. Response. Réponse. That was the policy. Tel était policy is one thing, politique. practice is another. I just want to get a confirmation Question. from la you, sir. Est une chose, la est une autre. Did you vous follow the policy? Did you follow the policy? Did you follow the policy? Response. Réponse. Yes, I did. Oui. On no. Vietnam with her. No one there challenged Personne such policy. Une telle uh, thank you. Now, you Merci. told us that on occasion your father would vous go to Phnom Penh and on occasion he would go Phnom as well. Que vous y did you aussi. accompany him to those meetings or again were you left outside? À ces réunions, ou bien est-ce qu'à nouveau vous êtes resté à l'extérieur Réponse. I was left outside because when I was in Phnom Penh, I could not accompany him all the way to the meeting. I would be dropped at the commerce office. Je le and again, if I may press for clarification, at least with Question. those meetings, now the meetings in Phnom Penh, là, à Phnom Penh, did your father tell you what the meetings were about before and maybe give you an update after the meetings to keep you abreast on the situation? Vous en après en vue de vous tenir au courant de la situation? Response. Réponse. No, he didn't. No. He didn't tell me anything. Il ne me disait rien. And just to make sure Question. that I'm very, very clear on this point, or that we are clear on this point, uh, when you were in Phnom Penh, did you attend any important meetings or assemblies where important decisions would have taken place? Response. No, I didn't. No. And just as a follow-up, did anyone, Dans le other than your, question, you, told, you told us about your father, but did anyone else père, ever inform you of what might have been taking place, what decisions might, what, what topics might have been discussed, and decisions des réunions, des décisions at prises, these meetings or des assemblies? Questions examinées à ces réunions ou à ces assemblées. Response. Réponse. No, they didn't. Je n'en sais rien. Uh, thank you. Now, Question. for my last topic, I just want to briefly touch upon your interview, brièvement parler uh, or I should say interviews. De vos entretiens. Uh, I couldn't help but notice Je that de constater une chose. when you were giving evidence quand vous avez with the prosecution asking questions, en there were at times question de that your memory needed to be refreshed on what you had told the investigators par à ce que vous avez dit aux because you simply could not remember. Vous aviez oublié. Do you have an explanation as to how is it that you had such vivid knowledge and detailed knowledge when you were giving interviews to the investigators, lorsque yet vous avez only donné a few years later, aux enquêteurs, you, ha you do not possess que plus tard those peine, details. Vous plus en votre position ces details.
response. I may explain as follows. Laissez-moi vous expliquer. During the time, you know, like for example, in this uh, courtroom, questions were bombarded at Dans me prétoire, uh, quickly. Je suis bombardé uh, de questions at the same qui time, se on one day or two. But during the interviews, the people came jours, to me and they set up the environment, environment where we could converse. Mis en place you know, it's more like a, a kind conversation. of conversational setting. So I could have some time to collect. J'ai donc uh, eu le events, temps uh, de me remémorer here, les événements. Tandis qu'ici, j'ai plus de mal. J'ai besoin de temps wording, pour formuler mes réponses. Et je ne suis pas so quelqu'un capable de lire et écrire uh, that that très that's bien. C'est donc difficile pour moi. I understand. La défense. Well, I hope I haven't been très bien. You with je comprends. J'espère ne pas vous avoir bombardé de questions. J'espère avoir été lent. Mais laissez-moi vous demander, When you were conducting Voici these interviews in this sort of conversational style setting ce contexte where you could la gather your thoughts and collect your memories, de, uh, did the investigators uh, talk to you que before you went on tape les enquêteurs to sort of ont parlé get a sense of what knowledge you had, pour se faire une idée de ce how que good your memory was? Du degré de précision de votre mémoire. Response. Réponse. The, the tape, uh, our conversation was uh, tape recorded time and again after some conversation. Enregistré plusieurs fois après les discussions. All right, now there may have been a translation problem. Question. Il y a peut-être un problème d'interprétation. Well, you may have misspoken. I just want to make very clear. Are you saying that there was a conversation first, a conversation first and then you would go on tape? Vous dites qu'il y a d'abord une conversation, puis qu'il y a eu un enregistrement. Because that's how it appeared in translation. C'est l'impression que j'ai eu en entendant l'interprétation anglaise. Response. Réponse. No, I think that's not the case. Uh, the conversation had to go on the la tape simultaneously. The conversation was going on and the was simultaneously. And the, then uh, we would be talking and then we would win on tape and if something nous went wrong then we would correct and record it. Nous enregistrions s'il y avait un problème, nous rectifions sure et nous enregistrions la défense. Je ne suis pas sûr d'avoir bien saisi la dernière partie. What do you mean if something went wrong? Vous dites si quelque chose ne fonctionnait pas. One way of interpreting that is que cela veut dire? if the correct answer wasn't given, then you were given an opportunity to si clean it up after looking at some documents, réponse, maybe having your memory refreshed. So please documents. tell us Après exactly what you mémoire, mean by that. Qu'entendez-vous donc par là? The President, Mr. Witness, please Le hold on and international co-prosecutor, you may now Témoin, proceed. Attendre, la parole est à l'accusation. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je pense que la dernière question devrait être reformulée pour être un peu plus ouverte, pour permettre aux témoins d'expliquer sans que les réponses lui soient suggérées. Merci, Monsieur le Président. reply freely without having any suggestions made to him. Thank you, Mr. President. Your Honor, Mr. President, Your Honor, I said how. So the classic open-ended questions are who, what, where, how, explain, describe. Commençons par comment. It was a how. Une question ouverte commence par comment, qui, how pourquoi, did this occur? Où? He said that it would be corrected. What exactly happened? Il a dit qu'il pouvait Pouvez être go off corrigé. Tape? Je me suis oh, demandé ce qui s'est passé. Shown documents. Est-ce qu'on corrigeait dans l'enregistrement sur exactly place? Est-ce qu'on demande des documents? J'aimerais qu'il nous dise exactement comment se déroulaient les entretiens. Response. I may wish you to repeat that question. Okay. Uh, you told us that when you were interviewed, you were tape recorded. And then you seem to say that if there was a problem, it would be corrected. Cela a été corrigé. Now that's what's being translated, so I have to work off the translation. My apologies if I'm getting it wrong. 
désolé, je dépends de l'interprétation. Vous dites qu'il pouvait y avoir un problème. Qu'entendez-vous par là Et comment le problème était-il corrigé Response. It was not a kind of error or mistake made during that time. But, for example, when I thought something which is not about the truth, then I would be given the opportunity to play back the tape. J'avais l'occasion de faire rejouer la bande et de vérifier que ma version des événements était la bonne pour parvenir à la vérité. Thank you very, very much for that, and that's what I want clarification. C'est là-dessus que j'aimerais avoir des éclaircissements. Apparemment, as you're giving your version. Que quand vous donniez votre version des événements, parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. À ce moment-là, on arrêtait l'enregistrement sonore, on le réécoutait, et il y aurait peut-être une discussion, et ensuite vous aviez l'occasion de rectifier la version que vous aviez donnée avant. Est-ce ainsi que les choses se sont déroulées Yes, it is. Uh, we we correct uh, something that is not true. For example, example, when we have to recollect uh, something that happened in the past without some passé, recorded pieces of evidence to support our memory, then we may be wrong. De and pour nous aider uh, à nous en at that et du coup, same nous time, as erreurs. you may be aware that the uh, During the old days, people did not keep good records of what had actually happened. In my memory, things that happened to me, I still remember what how they happened, but I just could not confirm precisely when exactly they happened. Although they did, that's why with this conversation. And the refresh of my memory, I could really correct the events. On a pu me rafraîchir la mémoire et j'ai pu corriger les événements. Now, when they were refreshing your memory, I take it it was the investigator refreshing your memory. Ils vous rafraîchissaient la mémoire. Les enquêteurs, je suppose. Response. Réponse. They didn't refresh my memories, actually, but they asked me Ils questions to help me la uh, recall. Ils posé des For example, pour à me they asked me question Par exemple, where I was yesterday, and I said uh, I was at uh, Comrade A's home. And then they would say, but you said it was at Comrade X. B, things like that. So this is how it happened. Uh, but voilà. the, the way questions were put to me uh, helped me uh, recollect uh, the event or re uh, remember the event. Well, in putting, in, in putting those questions to you, were they not also suggesting what the answers might be in order for you to give a confirmation? Implicitement les réponses en vue de vous amener à confirmer. Response. Uh, please repeat Réponse. that question. Pouvez-vous répéter la question? Well, in the, question? When giving you, when trying, when correcting you, Il vous were, there, were they also se faisant, suggesting what the right answer vous was également la bonne in order for you to correct your memory afin and to have something accurate on the tape? vos souvenirs et que vous enregistriez quelque chose de correct sur la bande Response. Yes, that Réponse. is correct. Effectivement. They would like to confirm to make sure that I really said uh, uh, the right event. Que j'ai donné la version exacte des événements. The president legal lawyer for the civil party, you Le may not proceed. La parole est au coordonnateur Council, principal pour les partis civils, Ang, Maître Mr. Mr. President, Monsieur thank le Président, merci. Merci. Je pense que j'ai un petit doute. Le conseil de Canavas a parlé de la co-investigation des juges qui ont été accusés de la corruption. Maître Canavas 
correct à parler des clauses uh, d'instruction qui avaient pu corriger la déclaration. So we would it would be fair if counsel also ask uh, what kind of version that the investigators correct corrected par les enquêteurs. Uh, Mr. President, Maître Canavas. Lawyers normally don't stand up en général, and voice their doubts. Un They voice objections. Ne se lève pas pour dire qu'il s'interroge. The gentleman had an opportunity to, to question the witness. The witness obviously understands my questions. They're rather clear. A bien mes If he has doubts, si then perhaps he can seek leave to ask for further questions. De de But questions. I'll go step by step to make sure Moi, that we have a very clear record as to how these interviews were conducted. Actes de la manière dont ces Now, interviews se sont déroulées. You told us thus far that the investigators will, would help you with your memory. Vous à Did they also show you any documents as verification in order to aussi des get you to understand the de dates or the places or the names afin de vous aider à comprendre les during dates, the interview? Les lieux, les noms et ceux en cours Response. No. All right. Réponse. And with that, non. sir, I wish to thank you for Très giving bien. your evidence here. Merci and venu thank déposer. the trial chamber for allowing me the opportunity to pose these questions. Poser ces questions aux and we want to thank you, sir, and wish Monsieur, you good luck and vous. safe travels. Bonne chance et bon retour chez vous. No, uh, the president. Yeah, Council, you're on your feet. Uh, you may proceed. Good morning. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, everyone. I didn't get a chance yesterday before I left the courtroom to properly thank the witness. Thank you, Mr. Witness, for answering some of my questions yesterday. Uh, I'm sorry we didn't have a chance to have more of a conversational exchange, as you put it, but I am grateful for the answers that you did provide, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Response. Uh, rather, uh, Mr. President, Mr. Panwan, 
Your testimony has now come to a conclusion and you are now excused. You may be let out of this room very soon and the chamber would like to thank you very much indeed for your time and efforts and patience. De votre temps et d'avoir déployé Your les testimony will be helping the court in finding the truth, and we would like uh, to wish you all the very best and safe travels. Bon Council, a jury council for Mr. Panwan is also excused. Uh, you may leave now. And court officer is now instructed to usher both of them. And the court will adjourn for 20 minutes. The next session will resume by 10 to 11 when we hear testimonies of TC W695. Some culture.